Good day, Shabbos to you all, and I hope you're all well. Happy Friday, everyone. So, Mazel this week. We will start with Mazel Tovs. Mazel tov to Karen and Mitchell Clement on Izzy's Bat Mitzvah. Mazel tov. Mazel tov to Nicole Wapnick on Mikey's Bar Mitzvah. Mazel tov. And Mazel tov to Rosanna, and Ian Abrahams on Ethan's Bar Mitzvah. Mazel tov. Mazel tov to Norma and Morris Sophia on their Platinum, that's wow. their 70th wedding anniversary. Mazel tov. And earlier this month, as well as Morris's 93rd birthday. Mazel tov. Wow. Um, Mazel tov to Jane and Barry Rose on the birth of their granddaughter, Mazel tov. Eliza Mimi Cohen, uh, daughter of Hannah and Ezra. Mazel tov. And Mazel tov to Simi and Michael Brower on their 50th wedding anniversary. That's Mazel their tov. golden. Um, and to anyone else who has a birthday anniversary or another simcha coming up this week. Mazel tov. We wish a fruish shlema to anyone who's unwell. Shlema. And we wish long life to Daniel Tahor on the sad loss of his mother, Rina Tahor, and to Janet Gerva on the sad loss of her mother, Shlema. Helen Davis. Okay, any shout-outs this week? Uh, shout-out to Mike Fur, along with his team of volunteers for all their work on the sukkah this year, yes, as again. they've done for many, many years. Yes. It was really, really great Amazing. sukkot, and thank you very much. You had the, your first session of Club 12 We had week? the first Club 12 Bat Mitzvah Club this week. Uh, it was really, really lovely. If any girls would like to join, it's not too late. It is free, and it's Tuesdays once a month. Okay. Um, and save the date. Yes. Hanukkah's coming. The Chagim are finished and Hanukkah is oh next on our agenda. Wow. <laughs> well, I start making those donuts soon. Yes, you'd better, mm. make, better make the donuts like your honey cake. Yes, I'll teach you what I think this time. Going to keep you to that one. Yeah. Um, so that's Sunday the 18th of December. Save the date. That's for our big Hanukkah extravaganza every year. So yeah. it's always an amazing take in the camera, in the diary. Okay, so Shabbos this week. Firstly, uh, Shabbos comes in and candle lighting is at 526 Friday night is at Croxtel, Yavna, and in Elstree. Please support one of our three minyanim. Shabbos morning, Hashkama for the early birds is at 8 o'clock, and main services at Croxtel and Yavna at 9.30. And in the afternoon, Mincha, followed by the final suda of this season, and Ashir is at both Yavna and Croxtel at 5 o'clock, and Marev at Croxtel and Yavna when Shabbos goes out at 6.27. And don't forget, Moxie uh, Shabbos, Saturday clocks. night, 2 o'clock in the morning, the clock's... Go back. back. We get an hour. We get an hour. Do we? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, yes. Spring forward and fall back. Right. Yes. That's how I you always get that muddled. Yeah, up. we get an extra hour. Okay, extra we get an extra hour. hour. Okay, Enjoy well, your extra what will hour. What we do with that? Okay. Well, we can talk about about Pasha's Noah. Amazing. Something really interesting happens. You see, when when God saw how corrupt the world would come, He applies His attribute of justice and destroys the world with a flood. However, the very next generation, the builders of the Tower of Babel, mm. the Torah records how actually God came down to look at the city and the tower, relating to the people of that instance, with mercy and not with justice. Now, the first question is, why doesn't God wipe out those people as well, wipe them out completely? Instead, just he just scat scatters them across the earth and confuses their language. Well, actually, Chazal explained that although they were also misguided in their plans, they dispute a unity and work together for a common purpose, which wasn't the case in the generation of the flood. And so clearly we see from that that God relates to us in a way in which we relate to each other. If we all, both individually and collectively, work to promote, promote peace and harmony, shalom, then it appears that God will even be willing to overlook our mistakes. So I wish you all a Shabbat shalom. Amen and good, to Shabbos. That. good Shabbos. And good Shabbos.